Hello everyone, my name is Mad Radio DXC UK, Mike 7 Echo India Whiskey. I want to welcome you to this video where I'm talking about my ownership of the X6100 in the form of 10 quick questions and answers. So first question, is the X6100 a good performer? The answer is yes, I have done digital mode contacts with all around the world, example like Australia from here in the UK, using an average of something like uh, 8 to 9 watts of power. Also, I've managed a voice contact to Canada with uh, 9 watts of power. Second question, how much does the X6100 cost and when you need extras for digital modes and voice contacts? The answer is it cost me uh, just less than 600 British pounds. The second part of that question is no, you don't need any extra interfaces for the X6100 when doing digital modes like uh, FT8 as it has its own internal sound card. Just plug the USB, the one that comes with the X6100, into the X6100 itself and that's it. It's pretty much a bit like plug and play. The X6100 does also come with uh, a, a mic or mic handset, which is the same one that is supplied with the G90. The only extra I recommend is something like, uh, uh, you know, something for cooling, like a USB fan, as it can get a bit hot when constantly transmitting, like in FT8 mode. You can get them between, uh, on average, 10 to uh, 20 British uh, pounds. Third question, how portable is the X6100? The answer is very portable. It is very easy to carry around and has served me great when going mobile or portable. Question four, what are the things I like best about the X6100? The answer, the answer to that is its portability, has a good size display screen, can transmit on the six meter band and has backlit buttons for when outdoors at night. Question five, what don't I like about the X6100? The answer is that it can suffer a bit um, from uh, an increased noise flow, background noise, randomly, but it does not affect the performance, uh, performance for transmitting or receiving. It also isn't um, anything, um, how can I say, severe. It's something uh, a little bit annoying that hopefully a firmware update might uh, fix in future. Question six, what, would I recommend the X6100 for receiving only and not for ham radio operations? The answer is no. Uh, save yourself a lot of money and get something from the likes of, uh, you know, for example, Texan. If you want a receiver with an SDR screen, uh, then uh, I would look at something like, um, you know, for example, from uh, Malahit, the Malahit clones. Question seven, would I recommend the X6100 to the veteran ham operator who has everything from ICOM to Yesu? The answer is yes, but for portable or, or mobile operations only. Question eight, is the X6100 easy to learn for a beginner? The answer is yes and no, depends on your experience. It took me about a week to get used to its uh, user interface and I would say it's not daunting or scary to use or learn, it just takes uh, a bit of patience. Question 9. If the X6100 was not available, what would I have got instead? The answer is the ICOM IC705 because it is also a portable transceiver. The problem is that it costs almost three times the price of the X6100 and I don't want to carry something so expensive on my portable D expeditions in case of, for example, theft. And question 10, am I happy with the X6100? And the answer is yes, it has served me really well as my main outdoor transceiver and continues to do so. So those are my 10 quick uh, questions and, uh, and answers on the Shegu X6100. If you have another question, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much, uh, everybody, for watching and uh, 73s.